<clears throat> what I did is I brought some pictures to you because we had already many good and informative talks and therefore I'm just bringing some pictures to give you an overview of the history of French-German cooperation, which is not new, but actually in machine learning it all started with the French-German uh, collaboration that was in 1986 when there was the European Working Session on Learning organized by Yves Kodratsov and I was helping him. <clears throat> so we had the first European conference on machine learning in Paris and then we had this uh, first international summer school on machine learning by Yves Kodratsov and me in Lizarque, 1988. And actually from all these activities um, it was a grassroots conference raised all over Europe. So it was not only French-German as it started, but it covers all Europe. <clears throat> and it's a grassroots conference. And in the last meeting where we could really meet in person, that was in Würzburg, we had 900 participants. And then this year, it will again be in France, in Grenoble. So um, I hope that we'll meet in Grenoble then because there we can interact uh, in all Europe and, I mean, some Americans also are coming to this important. <laughs> so then we had this global forum on AI for humanity. That was a big event, of course, because we all take care that we want to have our systems reliable. And we do that by proving features and where we cannot yet prove features, then we do testing in a structured way. and. Um, so we had a Germany meeting of all the centers on trustworthy AI, and uh, we hope that this is also a common topic with the French partners. And um, so there was this large um, event there. And then we had another European uh, conference on uh, trustworthiness for the machine learning pipelines. That was a bit of a different uh, accent on this. And then we had uh, a summer school together with French and Germans and others in Tübingen. And then we had a, a French-German uh, scientific conference organized by the people in Munich. And so there are many real relations between the German and the French ones. Um, so the German uh, competence centers used to meet in an all-hands meeting with all the funded projects on uh, machine learning and big data, um, which was by Corona then, in a way, uh, stopped for two years, which is a pity. Uh, but uh, before that, we had it, and uh, we'll have it again. And um, then let us come to the official line that started with the Aachen uh, Treaty in 2019, where there was this roadmap discussed that these competence centers in Germany and in France should um, work together. And so here's a map of the French ones. You are all aware of that, I guess. Um, and uh, we wanted to have that and discussed in our meeting at Würzburg, where you see this picture. There we decided upon some actions that we wanted, and uh, we are happy that the uh, minister signed this treaty with exactly the actions that the community also would like to have, the mutual visits of PhD students, sabbaticals of professors, Then we wanted to have a curriculum coordination such that we mutually recognize the examinations of uh, French and uh, German universities, <clears throat> common summer schools, hackathons, workshops, like the ones we'll have here, the International Fellowship for researchers from all over the world, and increasing the visibility. And that's what uh, Andrea Seifert also has strengthened. We need to make sure that the world knows that AI is not an American science. It actually is a European science. But we should do something about the better visibility. And then, of course, coordinated industrial corporations. There are many companies that are in many countries, so that we can easily collaborate from uh, diverse, uh, on diverse grounds with the industry. 
and of course coordinated common EU projects that exist already. So there is a lot of things that exist already. Um, so each center has some close connection to scientists of the other country and each center has uh, local relationships with academia and industry. So it is always from the scientific center, uh, relations with startups and uh, big companies and so on. And we want to have a beam effect of many distributed centers with a respective environment coming together and joining in. So um, how to find the time for all this is of all a question because um, we have so much to do in AI and we do not have enough people doing it. So that is the important problem that we have to solve. What can we do um, to have more people involved? How can we raise the young scientists? How can we attract professors to Europe? How can we make um, clear that actually here is a good working ground for people from all over the world? Okay, so I think um, for the plans were that we have common rules at uh, technology fairs and so on, and the yearly meeting, and this is one of these yearly meetings, and I hope that in the afternoon sessions, when we go into detail, um, there will be a close collaboration upon the scientists of the future, more than of the directors of today, actually. My, <laughs> my support is always for the raising the answers. <laughs> Thank you.